Howdy, howdy, howdy. How you doing today? I hope everybody's having a great afternoon. It is a beautiful hump day. I almost said Trump day. Well, it's still a Trump day. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great day today. It is a beautiful day. I'm I'm at work getting ready to uh, uh, go to lunch. And I said, you know what? I'm about to do a Jay McCainy, a.k.a. the Christian Conservative Lunchtime Live Show. So I hope everybody's having a great day. And I just wanted to do a quick video or something that that uh, God has uh, been that I've been meditating on the word of God about. And one of those things that I've been meditating on is the fact that God's grace is sufficient for us. Those that choose to uh, 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 submit their lives to Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, those that have. Uh, that knows that I uh, know that salvation comes through God's grace. Those that know that they have the righteousness of Christ in them. God's grace is sufficient for us. You know, that right there means more than anything else. It means that we are more than conquerors because of God being in us and through us. You know, Acts 1 and 8 talks about how, you know, uh, we're going to have the power of the Holy Spirit that's in us. And if you have the Holy Spirit in you, then you're his. You are his. And he knows about the things that you're going through. You need to make sure that you have submitted your life to the Prince of Peace in order to get peace. You know, there are so many people and, and you can see it. You can see it in their posts. You can see it in their how they react to things. You can see it how they uh, uh, respond to people. You can see whether or not if a person has peace. And you don't you don't even have to uh, uh, you don't even have to uh, go far. All you have to do is, is judge like God has told us to judge righteously. And you can see whether or not if that person has peace. One of the things that that is so lacking nowadays is the peace of God. And the reason why people don't have the peace of God is because a lot of people don't have the peace with God. If you have the peace with God, start exercising that peace of God that uh, that's working through you. I thank God that, uh, you know, regardless of what circumstance is thrown my way, I know that uh, it's going to work out for my good. And because I know it's going to work out for my good, I have the peace of God because I have peace with God. And all I'm asking is uh, when you go through these things, just like just like now, you you see that Democrats are more. <laughs> I, I think this is so funny. Democrats are more offended at Dr. Seuss and Mr. Potato Head than they are of drag queens doing a, a story hour with children think about that for a second now if, if you can't see the sickness of that if you can't see the sickness of democrats supporting giving three-year-old children three-year-old children gender blockers three-year-old children getting surgery reassignment uh, uh gender reassignment surgery if you can't see how sick that is I, I, I know the reason why people can't see how sick that is. And, and it goes back to what I was saying. There's no peace with God. So therefore, they have no peace of God. And because of that, they have a reprobate mind. And, and, and God will gladly turn you over to a reprobate mind. God is never going to uh, overturn your will. Regardless of how these religious folks think, God is never going to overturn your will. And if you choose to think that there's nothing wrong with a three-year-old child making the decision, making the uh, uh, choice of being the opposite sex, which you will never be because your DNA will never allow you to be the opposite sex. But that's neither here nor there. But if you don't see anything wrong with that, then maybe you have a reprobate mind. Maybe you have the fact that uh, you don't have the peace with God because you don't have the peace of God. It's time out for us to stop playing these little silly churchy games. And you know, I've had this challenge and I'm going to add to that challenge. I have, I've had this challenge for the last three years. 
for, well, it's been longer than three years now. It's been much longer than uh, three years. If you see, if you call yourself a pastor and you vote Democrat, I challenge you to message me so that you can come on to my show so that you can tell the whole audience uh, the verses that you use in order to vote for a Democrat party that has spit in the face of God, that have booed God out of their party in 2012, and every decision they make shows how they hate the God that you claim to serve. So if, if you are that pastor, I challenge you to, uh, to, to, to sound off. Sound off. Show how proud you are of, of, of the vote that you have in, in getting us in the quagmire that we're in right now. Uh, hey, if, if 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 you're one of these men of God that you claim to be, then you should be able to shut me down uh, uh, with no problem. And, and, you know, I'm not doing this to make my name make my name famous because I could care less about that. What I do care about is the fact that you're leading God's sheep astray. That's what I care about. I care about the fact that you think that uh, that you could gain the whole world without losing your soul. I care about the fact that you are nothing else other than a hireling and you're not warning about the wolves that's out there because you are a wolf yourself. That's that's what I care about. And for those that that want to try to uh, say that I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody, I could care less about that. I know that my God calls me his child. I know that my God say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So therefore, I'm happy about that. I could care less what anyone else called me. Now, with that little rant out of the way, let me offer you some encouragement, uh, Christians. If you have submitted your life to Jesus Christ, if you have, uh, have said, yes, regardless of what goes on, I'm still going to submit myself to Jesus Christ. If you say if you say 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 that to yourself, if you're walking that out, continue to walk by faith and not by sight. Continue to uh, uh, wear the whole armor of God. Continue to uh, to focus on Christ. Be the witness that God has called you to be and realize that uh, regardless that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, log on. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and pray. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, shut it down for the night. For the day. <laughs> I'm so used to doing my live night show. So let's go ahead and pray. Father, in Jesus name. I pray, Father, right now for your children that's that's walking that front line, Lord, that's that's in the spiritual battle that that re recognize that we are fighting spiritual wickedness in high places that that know that we're not fighting flesh and blood. So therefore, we we cannot uh, fight in the physical in that sense. I pray, Father, Lord, that we uh, that 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 you will continue to gird up our loins, Father, and, and that we continue to choose to lift you up so that you can draw all men unto you. Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, for those that that uh, that are. Uh, filling the chaos uh, right now, Father. And I pray, Father, that they will seek the Prince of Peace so that they can get the spiritual peace that they need. I pray, Father, Lord, that they recognize, Lord, that in order for them to to uh, walk the uh, walk by faith and not by sight, Lord, that they gotta set their they gotta set their affections on things on high. I pray, Father, Lord, that they realize, Lord, that we are new creatures in You, and because we're new creatures in You, we have to walk accordingly. Thank you, Lord, for those that are watching, Father, and those that will walk, watch, Father. And I pray, Father, Lord, that they will submit their lives unto you totally and fully, Lord, and show uh, show the world, Lord, the light that we're that we're supposed to be. In Jesus' name, Lord, we give you all honor and glory. Amen. All righty, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut her down for right now. Uh, I don't know. I, well, I know I'm not going to do a show tonight, uh, but I may do another lunchtime show tomorrow. I may even do another uh, show uh, before uh, before tomorrow. I, I don't know yet, but there there's a possibility. Uh, now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off so that I can go ahead and get back to work and uh, eat something before I go back uh, and get back to uh, to work on on my projects that I'm working on. But anyway, with all that being said. God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.